Hey guys! Today I'm going to be giving you a tour of my desk. My desk is a long table with some storage bookshelves on the side, and this area takes up most of my room. The left side of my desk doubles as my nightstand, and all it has is a tissue box. The center of my desk is where I keep my laptop, and I'll link it and my wallpaper in the description. I also keep my mouse here, and to the right, I have a clock from Ikea and my lamp, which has a lot of fancy settings. To the right, I use a box lid as a tray for my essential school supplies, which includes a roll of scotch tape, some washi tape, a container of paper clips, this plastic container with page flags, lip balm, and an eraser, my pen jar, I'll link my pen collection in the top right corner, a little hand sanitizer, and some sticky notes and memo pads. Also on the right side, the pencil sharpener and printer that my family shares is in my room because I use them the most, and I also keep my bullet journal and phone at hand. And now my storage bookshelves, which are from Ikea. So in the crack between the table and the first bookshelf, I have the phone arm that I use for filming, a bag for my tripod, which is currently broken, so I'm getting a new one soon. And I have a piece of wood that I use as a cutting board. I store my paper on top of these shelves, including graph paper, binder paper, plain printer paper, and index cards, which are all stacked. So on the top shelf of this bookshelf, I keep tech-related things. So my camera would normally go here, I have a charger and battery for my camera, and some boxes where I store cables. And then here I have my calculators for school and my microphone. The next shelf down is where I store papers, and they're separated by magazine files. The first section is for old papers, including my French notebook from last year, a clipboard, my French portfolio from last year, and a binder of all of my notes from the last year. This next file has a lot of folders, which are for my certificates, my calligraphy practice, ukulele chords, and a piece of paper that should be in the calligraphy folder. This section is for current academics, so my summer homework, a Harry Potter coloring book which isn't actually academic, my math textbook and assignment sheet for my math summer homework, and my notebook with my notes for AP Euro. And the final magazine file is for calligraphy practice paper. So I have a black paper notebook, a Strathmore mixed media pad, I'm trying to learn watercolors, and my Rhodia Rhodia Rama notebook, which you might have seen in my calligraphy journey video. This bottom shelf is where I store my calligraphy supplies, which includes Crayola markers, a bag of brush pens, and my full set of Tombos. I also have my pointed pen supplies, a watercolor palette, and some fine tech watercolors. Then next to this shelf, I have a slidey bin storage unit, also from Ikea. In the top shelf, I keep post-its, which I bought in bulk from Costco, and some I received for free from companies. And then in the next bin, I have glue, tape, and clips, just general things that stick things together, which includes tape, hot glue, glue sticks, thumbtacks, and some clothespins. The next drawer is for binders. And in here, I have binders, obviously, along with some divider tabs and sheet protectors. The next bin is for, as the label implies, notebooks. The top of the next shelf is a catch-all for things I tend to lose, so that includes my wallet, my keys, and sometimes my earbuds. And now, continuing on with my slidey bins, I have one that's labeled refills. And this includes new things that I'll use to replace my old things when they stop working or run out. So I have markers, hand sanitizers, more pens, paper clips, correction tape, and some random things that I don't know why they're here. The next bin is storage, and it's kind of weird that I need storage for storage, but this bin includes lids and cups, boxes, and pencil cases. And then my last slidey bin is called writing, and this includes stationery that I don't use that often, 
including stickers, some more Crayola markers, my pencil case that I use in the school year that I'm not really using during the summer, a bag of washi tape that I'll use to refill the dispenser on my desk, and these are some items that I plan to donate because I don't use them that much. This surface is where I store things for reading, so I have post-its, a highlighter, and some paint chip bookmarks. And here I keep the books that I'm currently reading. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want links to anything I've shown, let me know in the comments and I'll get back to you. If you're interested in more of my content, you can check out my Tumblr and Instagram, which will be linked in the description. And I post new videos every Monday and Friday. See you next time!